Hello friends, this is Josef again from Brothers in Dice channel and today we will look at Solomon Cain, a new game from Mythic Games, the original authors of Mythic Battles Pantheon, which is a game that is very close to my heart. The Mythic made uh, Mythic Battles in a collaboration with Monolith, who are publisher of Conan. Um, so, after Mythic Games, uh, the collaboration between Mythic Games and uh, Monolith um, stopped. Uh, they decided to each go uh, their own route. Mythic Games uh, gave the uh, rights for the um, Mythic Battles to Monolith, and they proceeded with uh, publishing new games. So the first one that they did was uh, Joan of Arc, which is about to come out sometimes this year. I didn't pledge for Joan of Arc because I simply didn't catch it on the Kickstarter. So hopefully this video will help you to uh, get aware uh, of Solomon Cain, which uh, came to the Kickstarter just yesterday. Um, this game is slightly different. Uh, I have watched uh, a playthrough on Beasts of War and I highly recommend you to watch it because if you are in it for the game you better be sure that uh, this is something that you like. To be honest this uh, is not completely in my... It is, this is not my cup of tea uh, the gameplay regarding but well if Mythic can do something well uh, it is the minis and that was the sole reason and why I pledged uh, for a Solomon King. Also the uh, the theme is uh, is pretty cool. So Solomon Kane is a famous uh, witch hunter uh, who was uh, first... Um, first captured in the novels of Robert E. Howard, the same guy who, who gave us Conan. I haven't read the books. Uh, there is a movie that I have seen. The movie is pretty cool. Um, and I'm curious about this game. It is heavily, heavily story driven. So it is almost as you are replaying the stories from the Howard's books. Um, and it is a co-op game. You do not play Solomon Cain himself. Uh, instead, you play the divinities. So there are four, not the divinities, how they are called, virtues? Yeah, virtues maybe. So um, the mini range is uh, the standard 28 millimeter heroic, which means the the regular humans will be something like 30, 32, 35 millimeters big. But you have these um, uh, virtues that you will play for. These are uh, the four women representing different virtues of Solomon Cain. And these will be your player characters who will influence actions of Solomon Cain. So, looks interesting. Not really in my alley, but, well, I will try it. Uh, so there are just two pledge levels. I'm not even sure if the, if the one that I did uh, is still available. Uh, this was an early bird pledge where uh, you get an extra expansion called Hand of Doom. Is it Hand of Doom? Yeah, right Hand of Doom add-on. So, so this is a mini of Necromancer's hand. Um, I will scroll through the uh, through the campaign uh, page so so that you will see it. But well, you can you can see uh, by yourself. And uh, the pledge does cost hundred and ten bucks. So there you go. The the typical cost uh, for uh, a game like this with loads of minis, loads of extra stuff. To be honest, I'm, I'm not really 
a fan of proliferation of, of, of all of these cards and tokens, I imagine it will be quite a pain to set up a game. One of the reasons why I like Mythic Battles Pantheon is that, is that it is somewhat streamlined. You do not have that, mu that many things. But, well, anyway, let's scroll through the campaign. So this is how your game will look like. Um, you will have, let me, let me increase the uh, zoom here. You see the players will play for different virtues. There are shadows on the board who are also characters that cannot interact with Solomon Kane. Um, it is very, very esoteric, very innovative uh, gameplay, uh, should I say. And here you see painted Solomon Kane mini, pretty badass, very the the archetypal witch hunter i love it solomon cain considered himself the fulfiller of god's judgment a vessel of wrath to be emptied upon the souls of the unrighteous yeah do not have too much to say more about the game uh let's just look at the, the minis so we have Solomon Kane. We have the four virtues, which are bigger minis considerably. Uh, these are like gods uh, in mythic battles. The sculpts look uh, amazing. They are all women. They are all sort of floating uh, above the ground. So we have courage. We have justice with the scales in, uh, in her hand and uh, sword in the other. We have temperance and we have prudence. And there are some other characters here, child, servant girl, Mary. Mary looks sweet, <laughs> touching her forehead. And some villagers, shadows. If I have a bone to pick uh, with the minis shown in this, uh, uh, in this uh, campaign is are these shadows so these are almost always on the board at least from what i have seen uh, from the gameplay and these are all the same sculpts why wouldn't you introduce different sculpts uh, for these shadows um, they are not even in the stretch goals so far i really hope that uh, one of the stretch goals will be uh, about introducing different uh, different sculpts so that you have some variety in the shadows. The swordsman, very neat, very neat sculpts. These are, uh, is it Renaissance Europe? Yeah, Gideon's ghost, animated skeleton, tavern keeper, Ezra. Okay, I do not know these characters. Um, I haven't read uh, the the Solomon Kane books. Uh, we have Captain Jonas Hardray Hardraker. Okay, so some uh, pirates as well. This touches all sorts of uh, different different niches. Yeah, game components, bunch of boards. Tokens, dice, yep, that's Kickstarter for you. And now the stretch goals. So uh, the initial goal for uh, the game uh, to be funded was 100k, which I imagine was uh, smashed through almost immediately after the campaign started. And much like with the uh, Mythic Battles, with a bunch of stretch goals. So there are some some sculpts, but uh, many of these stretch goals are about uh, upgrades to different other components like the tokens, more tokens, more tokens, cards, uh, even more tokens. And then there is at 250k, 
unlocked already a new virtue providence Ooh, this looks cool so this one uh, I think should uh, be this one is like combination uh, of all of the four other virtues yeah military officer more boards more cards magistrate here we have another mini a soldier more soldiers yeah these are different soldiers with halberds matthew hopkins okay another uh, character uh, which looks like uh, a witch hunter maybe another witch, hunt, uh, witch hunter alternative solomon kane perhaps uh, oh and the next goal that hasn't been reached yet is baroness mini then we have add-ons the first one introduced as a, a bonus for the early early backers is this right hand of the doom yeah there you see the mini <laughs> yeah big hairy head severed from the body okay so there you have it uh, this is the um, Solomon Kane by Mythic Games. Pledge if you want. Um, if you want to um, learn more about the game, I suggest you uh, look at the Beasts of War um, YouTube channel. There are, uh, they talk about the background. Uh, there is a gameplay which is very long, slightly boring, but well. <laughs> Um, I also imagine that uh, they will introduce more more expansions, uh, more expansions for the game, much like they did for the Medic Battles and Joan of Arc and so on. So, yep, that is it for me. Uh, check out this campaign on Kickstarter. Joseph signing off. Bye.